folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Dom. This is Rock in a Country. I'm a little nervous because I don't know this song and I don't know most of the songs. I don't know any of the songs that I react to. Some of them I review, but most are reactions. The reason I'm a little nervous is because Zachary Barber made a gift to the channel. So first, Zach, thank you very much for the gift and this request, I think. But you said this was Reba's first number one hit and it's probably going to make me squirm. That's what makes me nervous. So squirm, I could squirm. We'll find out how much it does to me. It's Reba's song, Whoever's in New England. And even though I'm in the mid-Atlantic up here in Jersey, it's kind of that, I'm not far from New England. So let's find out what Reba's going to do to the New Englanders. Oh, I think this is a Vivo video and it might get blocked. If so, I'll just remove the video portion of it and leave the audio up. So but I'm watching the video. You spend an awful lot of time in Massachusetts Seems like every other week you've got a meeting Business must be booming or could something else mm. be moving in the air up there. You say that it's important for our future. An executive on his way up has got to play the part. And each time duty calls, you gotta give it all. I wonder if that line, you'll know it's not too late because you'll always have a place to come back to. I think that that's what she's saying her feelings are, but maybe she's saying that's what he's thinking, that he'll always have a place to come back to. We'll find out if she pulls the plug on that or not. When whoever's in New England's through with you They say the snow can blind you till the world you left behind just disappears. I, oh my God. I've packed your bags and left them in the hallway. But before you leave again, there's just one thing you ought to know. When the icy wind blows through, He decided not to go. He decided not. To. That was a twist in the end. I'm not squirming, but I mean, it's the implication there that like the other one got tired of him. But that smile, like sort of like he had a self revelation there on his way. He's like, no, nah, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, that was different. I mean, 
I love Reba's voice in this, too. I mean, I wasn't a country fan growing up. I mean, I only became a country fan about 10 years ago. And so I was not familiar with her repertoire, her, you know, catalog. And this being her number one hit, of course, was beautiful. And this could have been a crossover, too. I mean, I could see this being a crossover because it's not strictly country. It's a, I mean, it's just a beautiful ballad, a beautiful story. The story in that, though, I'm just trying to figure out what happened with him. She, I mean, he clearly was doing stuff with the woman that he was working with because they showed the little snowball scene, which was just so, oh, God. That was like a Hallmark scene. A happy hallmark scene, even though the you know the implication was he was doing wrong, and, and so was she, because she would have known he was married, probably. Yeah, I guess he just decided not to go, but he did have a meeting. I mean, he did have a meeting. They showed that he had a meeting. He had meetings, and he was up there. Did he? They didn't show him. Well, no, they did. They showed him having dinner with. All right, with roses. All right, so he was doing something. So. I guess he just had a change of heart, and he lived out the lyrics in the song that he'll always have a place to come back to, and she welcomed him. So that answers my question about whose thoughts were. In the beginning, well, about a minute in, where it's like, were, were those his thoughts that he always had a place to come back to, or was that her saying she'll always take him back no matter what? That's what was being said, because he came back, she took him back, and I guess the cheating's over. Yeah, he came back and gave her a great big hug and that was really sweet so all right what am i going to rate this one zach it was a nice story i this had to have been a crossover hit too so for this to have been like her her first number one hit was i love it when you find out someone's first number one hit that they even had a number one hit it's phenomenal of course reba has had like bunches but all right as a song for me how this song strikes me i'm coming in with an 8.5 it was a nice story, but I think they made it more for radio, and it worked. You got to pay the bills, and I'm sure Reba did not object whatsoever, whatsoever. Whether she liked the instrumentation or whatever the lyrics were supposed to be, if those were changed according to the label, I don't know. But uh, the way it struck me was an 8.5. It, it was just a nice story, and I hope he stopped doing whatever he was doing. Okay, folks, you can thank Zachary for that one, and there it is. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.